we use Garth as a test driver. It's been really something to watch. And Garth Tander has them on their feet. In a legendary finish, this is the year of the Rookie of the Pro. Tander and Nick Perkett are the champions. We use him when we come to uh, the testing process where we want to explore the the limits and beyond the limits of the car handling. GT has that ability to tell us how the car's feeling and what we need to be doing to putting it right. My involvement with the testing of the new Gen F range has been about making the car more user-friendly and better on the racetrack. So for the HSV enthusiast that likes to use their car for lap sprints, track days, or just generally enjoying their car on the racetrack, it's about making the car faster, better, handle better on the racetrack without taking away from its road car credentials and, and its comfort on the road as well. We did most of the testing for the Gen F up at Winton. Uh, done a lot of laps around Winton in the V8 supercar and also done quite a few laps around there in other HSV, previous HSV models. So it was a good base to be able to use for the new car to be able to assess it against the old car and, uh, and they'll also see where it stacks up compared to the V8 supercar. We actually had three or four cars there and we were testing different iterations of packages. So at one point I was driving one car that we were only testing braking. Then we are doing suspension settings in another car. And then another car, we were doing gearbox calibration. And in the fourth car, we were doing engine and cooling and power and all those sorts of drivability things. We'll feed all the information back to different engineers. So it's a lot like when we go racing, where we talk to an engineer after each run. And each of the cars basically had their own engineer. So really, at not really many points throughout the whole testing process, I drove all the systems together and actually looking forward to really driving them all together. We're out here at Broadford Test Track, just on the outskirts of Melbourne to drive the new Gen F range. Are these cars straight off the production line, so really looking forward to going for a drive and seeing what the cars have to offer. features in the Gen F range is torque vectoring. So something new, it's, it's different to traction control, it's different to ABS, it's different to MRC or stability control. But what torque vectoring does effectively is when you're hard on the throttle in the middle of the corner, it applies the brake to the inside rear wheel and sends more engine power or more torque to the outside rear wheel and helps steer the car around the corner. Some of the differences between driving my HRT VF Commodore and the HSV Gen F GDS is, one, it's much more comfortable in here. <laughs> it's made, there's a lot more creature comforts and, uh, and it's a much nicer place to be, whereas in the race car it's a much more raw, uh, violent place to be. The GDS is getting much and much closer to the race cars. It's got bigger brakes now than what we have on the race car. It's got more torque than what we have in the race car. It hasn't quite got the same horsepower that we do have in the race car, but uh, it's not far behind. When you're on the track and you go into the, some of these tighter corners and these corners where you really change direction, you can really get a lot of feel back through the steering wheel and that gives you a really good idea of what's happening with the front tyre when you're on the way into the corner. And then with the car sitting flatter and uh, not rolling as much, you get a very good understanding of what's happening with the rear of the car as well so you can feel the rear tyre under the car. Some of the handling enhancements with the car with the MRC system, what the MRC system does is stiffen or soften the shock absorbers, make the car, when it's softer, much more supple, much more uh, nicer to drive on the road, but with the stiffer MRC settings, it makes the car much nicer through these change of direction or, or shorter, sharper types of corners. OK, so that was a lap with everything turned on. Let's turn all the aids off now and have a bit of fun.
I love doing hot laps with racing drivers. I don't think Phil's going to be looking at this car when he's driving around Phillip Island. He's going to be looking out the front, trying to, trying to see where the next corner is. No, I'm not trying at all by going around a circuit quickly with somebody as, per, as competent as Garth. Torque vectoring on. All the aids on. Go. Incredible how fast this thing accelerates. So can you feel the top of that thing coming out? Yeah, as soon as you pick the throttle up and go, it just pulls the car around and go. Little moment at 150k an hour. <laughs> So that's a lap with everything turned on in track mode at Phillip Island. We talked a lot about the engine with this car, but I think what also doesn't get talked about is how awesome the brakes are. Yeah, they are fantastic. And how well it handles. So, for fun, this is what I do on test days, Phil, at the end of the day when I finish with the HRT car. I don't tell you this often, but I jump in the road car and turn all the aids off and go and have some fun. So I'll show you how we do it. better with it on as far as performance and handling and general lap time so it's more when you get to these slower tighter corners when you've got everything turned off the 18 year old and me come, comes out Company a couple of, <laughs> couple of tires there. No, I'll, I'll sign them off. <laughs> you sign them off? Oh, cool. Can you do that for me every time? <laughs> that was fantastic, yes. John. Thank you. It's an amazing car. Yeah. You've done it. Everyone involved done an amazing job. Oh, my brother. <laughs> fantastic. And the test for me is when he gets out and shuts the door, I want him to look back at that car and take a last admiring glance at it. Actually, we came around turn three on the first lap, and it was the first lap, and we were doing well over 200k an hour, and Phil goes, wow, this thing's quick. <laughs> Fast car, good-looking car, great car. Part of the thrill of being in the auto industry is the adrenaline that you get, not just from finishing off with a drive at a racetrack when you're launching the car. It's the process of going through creating, developing, tooling up, manufacturing the product. It's, it's a thrill that I don't know that exists in any other type of business. And it's been a long journey. It's been a crucial journey, huge investment, the biggest investment that HSV has ever put into a range of motor cars. It's a tremendously exciting because we've got a great future in front of us. I think Tom would be really proud of um, I think Tom would be really proud of what we've achieved in the launch of this car, and not just the excitement over the GTS. It was also passionate for him to be able to make the more entry-level cars, the ones that begin our range. Tom was very passionate about making those cars as good as possible. And we're really, really proud to be making these in Australia for Australians. To everyone in the business, I want to say thank you for creating a fantastic product.